Hello, my name is Michelle Felix, and I'm an audio engineer from Mexico. Hi, my name is Rachel. I am an audio engineer based out of Perth, Western Australia. Hi, my name's John Lemon. I'm a veteran sound engineer. I've mixed a lot of the world's biggest bands over the last 40 odd years. Up until this day, I had not been able to set an EQ by myself without having to ask somebody like, what, what's the frequency or what's the cue or what's my gain setting like? It's always been a struggle for me to, to do my job really as an audio engineer because I don't have that independence because I'm not able to read you know, what's on the console and it, it gives me no feedback when I'm trying to adjust some things. This has never been done before in the sense of having a live console that'll give audio feedback. When you touch control, it'll tell you the value of the gain or where the fade is at or where the EQ's at. This morning when, when I laid my hands on the Quantum 112 for the first time and it started calling out all the values and the names of the channels as I touched the fader, that was revolutionary. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. I was actually trying to mentally prepare myself. At first it was just it just felt surreal. I was just like, is this for real? It, it's it was just crazy to me that a console could do that. It's never happened before. This enables that for visually impaired and blind people. It's unique and we want it to grow and we want all manufacturers to understand and use this open source software. We are part of the Audio Accessibility Alliance. Come and join us at the Patch Bay Cafe in Pod 2 and help us as we drive change and equalize the industry to provide employment opportunities for blind and other disabled audio professionals.